Hello Los Angeles Lakers fans, welcome back to Los Angeles Lakers news today. Before we dive into today's exciting update, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Today, we're discussing the Lakers' quiet offseason and potential roster moves. Recently, a rumored target, Gary Trent Jr., signed with the Milwaukee Bucks. With 15 players on guaranteed contracts, the Lakers need to create a roster spot if they want to make any new signings. Despite their limited cap space, the Lakers can still sign players to veteran minimum contracts if they open up a spot. Paul Kasabian of Bleacher Report has highlighted some potential options, including sharpshooter Evan Fournier. Fournier, a 31-year-old shooting guard with 11 years of experience, hasn't seen extensive action since the 2021-22 season when he averaged 14.1 points on 41.7% shooting, 38.9% from three, in 80 starts for the New York Knicks. After falling out of the Knicks rotation and being traded to the Detroit Pistons, Fournier struggled, posting just 7.2 points on 37.3% shooting off the bench. However, he's set to represent France in the Summer Olympics which could reignite interest in him if he performs well. What the Lakers need to do for roster flexibility. As it stands, the Lakers' options are limited. However, they could open up some flexibility by trading away more players than they receive or by salary dumping a player. According to Jovan Buha of The Athletic, this could allow the Lakers to use their $5.2 million taxpayer mid-level exception. They can either send out more players than they receive in a deal or salary dump Reddish, Wood, and or Hayes along with a second-round pick or two, onto a team with roster and financial flexibility. The Lakers traded two minimum players. They'd have enough room under the second apron to sign a player to the $5.2 million taxpayer mid-level exception, Buha wrote on July 16th. If the Lakers were to move only one player, they would still only be able to sign someone like Fournier on a veteran minimum contract. How Fournier would help the Lakers If the Lakers decide to move just one player and sign someone on a veteran minimum contract, Evan Fournier could be an intriguing option. Although Fournier, who was once on a four-year, $73.0 million contract, is past his prime as a near 40% three-point shooter, he could still provide valuable shooting off the bench. The Lakers need to improve their three-point shooting after attempting the fewest threes per game last season. Fournier, a career 37.4% three-point shooter on 5.2 attempts per game, could help address this issue. Even if he plays limited minutes, his ability to get open looks and knock down shots could be beneficial for the team. So Lakers fans, what do you think? Should the Lakers make a move to sign Evan Fournier? Or do you have other players in mind? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more updates from Los Angeles Lakers news today. Go Lakers!